upper body workout level one. Of course, I'm Rashira, and joining me today, I have Tracy and I have Ty Lynn to join me. We're gonna have a great time and we want you to do the same. I know you're saying working out is not fun. Well, it can be as long as you think about the results and think about what you're doing for your overall health. So let's try to enjoy ourselves as we make this lasting change. We're gonna get started with our warm up. Feet are a little bit wider than your shoulders and your hips. You're gonna give me eight circles. One direction. It's three, four, five. Keep those abs tight. Six, seven, and eight. Now you're gonna reverse. Eight, seven. Warming up those shoulder sockets. Four more. And three, two, one. Now you just take the body side to side for isolations. Waking up that core, those obliques. And then my team will join me. So the first move is going to be a chest press. You're going to lay all the way down on the ground, bringing those elbows down, pressing up. You got 45 seconds of that. Then we're going to move right into our mountain climb. So go into a push up position, nice and strong. Bring one foot forward and alternate. All right? Not too bad, but great cardio. And then let's pick those weights back up. And you're going to give me a side fly. Shoulder fly from a 90 degree angle. And the last cardio for 30 seconds. Good old fashioned, your favorite, a jumping jack. All right, team, you got that? Got it. All right, pick up those weights. You get yours too. And let's get started. All right, ladies. Three, two, one. Let's go. Now, as you're doing your chest press, I want you to think about putting your entire back on the floor and tighten those abs. In this position while you're laying down, the last thing you're gonna think about is your stomach, right? Well, wrong. This is one of the best places to train your abdominal muscles. And when you stand up, you're not worrying about a gut hanging out. It's all nice and tight. So keep it going right here. You got 10 seconds left. And you guys feeling back there? Good. All right, they're just getting started, so they're good. Give me two more of these. Two, one more. Put it down. Let's go right into that mountain climber. All right, guys, all the way up, and let's go. Tap that toe forward, keeping the weight. 
in the hands, keeping the shoulders forward. Once again, utilizing those stomach muscles. In everything you do, you want a strong core. That's your foundation. So keep it strong. Almost there, guys. Give me four, three, two, one. We're gonna pop up with those weights. Go through those side flies. Taking it out. Now what you're noticing is the more you do this workout, you're gonna start really feeling those muscles burn. One of the reasons is because your heart rate is nice and high. You're burning a lot of calories and the body's trying to catch up, which is a good thing. Whenever you shock your body, it's more likely to make a change. And we want it to change, right? That's right. We don't want it to look just like it did when we started. What's the point in that? We'll be going, whoo, five seconds. You're starting to feel that burn. What about you, Tracy? Here we go. And one more. Last cardio in this cycle. Let's go. Jumping jacks. Beautiful. Try to really get those heels down and really think about breathing deeply. You want to oxygenate your muscles. Oxygenate the blood in your body. Get it to work properly. You got 10 seconds. You got five seconds. Come on. Give me three, two, one. Now you get a 30 second rest. That all of you all have certainly, certainly earned. While you're resting, start thinking about, okay, I did one cycle, how can I make this next cycle even better so I get more of a burn, burn more calories, get more efficiency for my workout. So let's come down and figure it out together, okay? Back to the floor, my ladies. You know the drill. You ready? Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Now remember our checklist. All right, for sure a checklist towards mastery. You want to get every vertebrae the spine flat against that mat. You're pulling in the core nice and tight. You're raising those weights over your chest area, getting a nice burn. That's one you can handle, by the way. You don't want weights so heavy where you can't handle this and you're hurting your shoulders. You want to make sure it's within your limitations. Keep it going, guys. We got eight seconds. We got five seconds. Three, two, last one. Put them down and go right into that mountain climber. Three, two, one. Let's go. Come on. Keep those hips close to the ground. Tap those toes lightly and engage your upper body. All right. You operate from strength, from a solid foundation. All right, and if you're not there yet, you get there. Don't worry, we didn't start here either. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and pick up those weights and let's work on those shoulders again. Bring them up. Really try to control the breathing here. We're all breathing hard, so I know you are too. And that's okay. We try to keep it controlled. You need to slow your pace down, it's okay. But just keep it going. And if you have to press pause, no shame in it. I just want you to make me a promise that once you catch your breath, you're gonna press play and you're gonna finish this workout. You got 10 seconds. Woo, you got five seconds. Come on, Tyler, give me two more. Last one, you got your jumping jacks. Let's go. Come on. Last set in this circuit number one. All right, so now you know the drill. You understand what I expect from you, and you understand what you gotta expect from yourself. So now the rest is easy living, baby. They're like, sure. <laughs> yeah, say whatever, but sure, we're not buying the Kool-Aid. <laughs> but keep it going anyway. Three, two, one. Rest. Once we catch our breath, I want you to watch me demonstrate all of the exercises for circuit number two. All right, guys, now you've seen the move. It's time for you to do them. Come on, ladies, come all the way down and let's get started with exercise number one, that single arm row. Three, two, one. Elbow up. 
Now, if you remember, during our push-ups, I told you guys to really pace yourself. Don't go too fast. Same thing applies with these. You are balancing on one arm, so you want to be really careful that you're nice and strong. So use that core. Keep it going. 20 seconds left. How you feeling back there, Tracy? Good. Fantastic. <laughs> 10 seconds left. Woo, this feels working out so hard. Just like you at home. Two more. Give me one more. Hop it on up and give me those squat hops. Little hops right here. Nice and low, so you're never fully extending the body. You're just burning out those quadricep can be a beautiful muscle if you work it the right way. Halfway there. Woo, you burn in Thailand? Oh yeah. <laughs> Good job. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Grab both of those weights. You got your good mornings. Go ahead and go right into it. Over to the 45 and pace yourself and don't go too low, okay? We don't want any pressure on that lower back. We want to feel it in the back of our legs and in our glutes or that butt muscle. Keep it going, guys. 20 seconds left. 15 seconds left. Woo! Feeling that one. We're also looking forward to the results. Give me five more seconds. Give me one more of these. Woo! And take it to our last cardio. We're gonna squat, back, back, in, in, stand. Squat, out, out, in, in, stand. Squat, out, out, in. Keep it going. Out, out. Woo! Squat. Low impact can get you too. All this up and down movement. One more. Out, out, in, in, and stay. Nice and slow. Make sure you're not lightheaded. 30 second rest. 30 second rest, guys. Not 45. 30 seconds, which we appreciate. Whew. I thought it'd be nice to have a 45 second rest. We don't need that 30 second. All right, guys, almost there. We're gonna take it back to the floor, and you're gonna have the opposite side for the single arm row. So make sure that you switch it up. You got four, three, two, one. Let's go. Really pace yourself. Now the reason why I'm in this plank position is because my core is challenged. At the same time as I'm working my arm and my shoulder and that large back muscle, that lat muscle of the wings. I like to involve a lot of core in almost everything I do because I've always understood how important it is to overall function in the body. All right, girls, you only got 10 more seconds. Come on. Five more seconds. Give me two more of these. Give me one more. Beautiful. Let's see those squat hops. Nice and low. Let's go. Stay low. Keep that chest up, but as low as you can get it without hurting those knees. Just hang in there. Almost done with this right, guys. Just a great workout. Upper body, with that extra bonus of that cardio to really boost your metabolism. Give me four, three, two, one. Oh, wait. Time for the points. All right, guys, let's go. Really squeeze the back of the legs or the hamstrings. All right, so I want to make sure you put that weight back in your heels and squeeze the legs. Come on. Hard, my face. Who is that knee out here? 15 seconds.
take that 30 seconds. Let's go into our cool. You still got a cool day. <laughs> you fine. <laughs> Beautiful job. They have worked so hard. So hard, but I know you have to. I know you have. So let's go ahead and move these weights over to the side. And take it all the way down to the ground. All right. I'm going to face those feet towards the camera. All right, guys, like I said earlier, you deserve this cool down. What a fantastic job today. You got through your strength upper body workout. Level one, but you got through it. So for some of you out there, this is your first time working out, and especially working out with me. So I know it was tough, but you made it through because now you're looking at all of us. So either you fast forwarded it or you did it with us. So let's go ahead and stretch by putting those legs out and reaching towards those toes. If you can't reach the toes, reach towards the calves. If you can't reach the calves, grab those knees. Bring that head down and let's hold it here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and come all the way up. Bring one leg in into a runner stretch and then reach one arm back down towards that leg. Relaxing the neck. Holding it here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and switch legs for me. Getting a deep stretch. And as you're reaching for that foot, that leg, you're also stretching out that shoulder and that back muscle. We worked all of those. Hold it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one. All right, go ahead and bring the soles of your feet together. In a nice relaxed position, not too much strain in the hips or the knees. And let's go ahead and take those arms all the way up. You're going to clasp those hands and press them towards the ceiling. Really getting a great stretch in those lap muscles and all through the back. Hold it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, gently release. And let's go ahead and take it over the head for a side stretch, holding it for eight, seven, six, five, four, keep your stomach tight, two, one. Take it to the other side. Just cause you're cooling down, doesn't mean you can forget the moves. Hold it eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, all right, back to the center. Let's take both arms up, clasp them in front of your chest, and push your hands away, hollowing out your chest, stretching that upper back. Whew, we did a lot of things where you're gonna feel your upper, your upper back muscles really tighten up, so it's so important to stretch them out. Take those arms above the head, and open it up. Go ahead and take the arm in front of the body. Pull it all the way across and take the head to the opposite direction. Holding it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake that on out and give me the other side. Take the head in the opposite direction. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, back to center. Go ahead and give me one deep breath in. And I want you to exhale and loosen it all up. And then continue to celebrate yourself, celebrate your journey, and celebrate life. Until we see you again, take care.